Tonight on City News, we continue to delve into medically assisted dying and how some believe it is their only option. Extraordinary efforts have been made in suicide prevention in our communities. And the expansion of May sends a contradictory message to our peoples that some individuals should receive suicide prevention, while others suicide assistance. First of all, um, the individual who uh, made recommendations to a veteran around uh, medical assistance in dying uh, is no longer working with veterans. Uh, that was absolutely unacceptable. She said, we can do this for you because I've done it before. After we completed Maid, after we killed him, we are now uh, have supports in place for his wife and his two children. <clears throat> this government is focused very much on respecting Canadians' rights, uh, defending uh, their choices, allowing them choices, while at the same time protecting the most vulnerable in society. This entire bill is a colossal, spectacular failure on the part of the government. It is unacceptable. I have a letter saying that if you are so desperate, madam, uh, we can offer you made medical assistance in dying. It's better than blowing your brains out against the wall. <clears throat> that is what he told me she said. You know, I think we've done a really good job the first six years to earn the uh, respect of the public uh, and the confidence of the public. Um, and um, I hope that it wouldn't be questioned because of uh, a number of news stories. Given, I think, uh, the relatively few uh, complaints about the system that have come forward, given, given the numbers, um, I think the system's working well. Are there any physicians who are opposed to where medical assistance in dying is headed in Canada? There are hundreds. Hundreds of doctors who are opposed to where this is going. The number of Canadians dying by MAID is growing on track to become one of the most permissive euthanasia jurisdictions in the world. The fact that people are feeling compelled to apply for MAID or to, to even ask about MAID because they can't get the basic fundamentals to live a life, is it's a shameful. As a country, as a, a government, we should be ashamed. I don't wish to be dead. I still want to be here.